We have come to the end of module 3 when designing our research methodologies and in this module we have made a lot of them. We have chosen appropriate research nature, research approach, research strategy. All of these choices were important. Now, in the last video of this module, I would like to uh, bring to you one extra point that you should consider when making these methodological choices, and that is the role of a researcher or your role when you are the one doing the research. Because we can go two directions. You as a researcher can be considered external researcher or internal researcher. And whether we go for one of these choices is then going to influence all of these methodological choices like choosing a research approach and research strategy. So let's go for it. Being an external researcher is the simpler choice. You simply do not become part of the phenomena you are studying. You are more of an external observer. You come, even though you come to the environment researching it, you try not to influence it. So, for instance, if you would like to make an experiment, you certainly are not going to be considered external researcher because your experiment is directly influencing the phenomena. So, this is the simpler choice. The choice that we have to discuss a bit more about is being internal researcher. When you are an internal researcher, you literally become part of the phenomena you are studying. And for instance, I see this very often when students who are writing their degree thesis are working on a part-time basis in some company, they very often decide to write a case study about this company. So let's say you have been working for three years in some company and you feel like, well, this can be a great choice for me because I have a context here and I can have a great data collection. Yes, this is a very common case and there are a lot of advantages for it because essentially you do not need to learn the context of this company. As you are already working there, you know sort of what is this environment about. You again can have a lot of good context so that, for instance, you can send out a questionnaire to hundreds of other people involved in the company. So there are quite a lot of benefits. On the other hand, there is a big disadvantage, or this is a two-sided coin, sort of. Because you already know the context, you already have a basic ideas about the environment, you are quite likely not to ask about them during your research. Let's imagine that you are doing a case study and the case is the company where you are working. You know the answers to basic questions. So, in, in your research, you will not be asking these basic questions. And often, it is these basic questions that often reveal to us, as to researchers, the important aspects. So, you can simply overlook them because you already know them and you do not consider them being important. And last point that I would like to discuss is that you, even though you aim for being an external researcher, you can... Uh, being unaware, become an internal researcher. And this is what happened to us when we were doing our research. During the interviews, we were trying to find out whether the respondents we were interviewing are aware of some theoretical models and whether they are using maybe these theoretical models in their practice. So what we did is that we came to an interview and let's say we showed one marketing model and we asked, are you aware of this theory? Are you aware of this model? Are you using it as a technique within your company? And what happened is that mostly these entrepreneurs said, no, we are not aware of this model, but we are doing that practice. And all of a sudden we started to discuss. It was a great discussion. And all of a sudden when we left the interviews, we realized that, well, we became an internal researchers because we helped the interviewee to find out the answers and we sort of influence the phenomena, we influenced his answers. So be aware of it that even though you aim for being an external researcher, you can become internal researcher if you influence the phenomena you are studying. So make your choice even here and I'm looking forward to see you in module 4.